Hello YouTube, hello guys, welcome to another exciting day, welcome to my channel, welcome to YJ Niche Tower. I remain your host, Abu Joseph. So guys, on this video, I'll be showing you how to create a simple morphism last text in Photoshop to be precise, in few simple steps, okay? So let's dive into it. So for illustration purpose, I'll be making use of an image to explain better. So I'll drag in the image and open it in Photoshop. So here yeah, I have the image opened in Photoshop. So in order for you to create a morphism uh, glass uh, effect, so all you have to do is to come over here with your text or your shape tool to be precise and come over here, create a shape like this. Okay, you can create a shape like this. So after you're done, you can give it another fill entirely. So you can give it another fill color entirely. Okay, it can be this. Okay, for example, so we can come give it a curve edge, okay, curve smooth edge, or we'll use this. So give it a little feel of curve, okay, on the glass. So after you're done with this, I'd like you to make a duplicate of this uh, image by hitting Ctrl J and drag this layer above, okay. So after you're done, I'd like you to hold Alt in between these two layers and you notice your mouse pointer looks like this. Click on this to create the clipping mark. You notice you can't see anything over here. So all you have to do next is to right click and convert the image to a smart object. So I'm done converting the image to a smart object. Come to filter, blur, all the way to Gaussian blur to be precise. So I can increase the blur radius as I want, okay. I think you can see the effect. So after you're done applying the Gaussian blur, so over here we have the rectangle and this is a preview of how this is actually looking like so far. So let's continue and add more depth to this. So I'll double click on the layer. The layer style will come up. So I'll slide over here to inner glow to be precise and see what happens. As I click on the inner glow, I can increase the opacity. I can add a feel of noise in to the edge as well. You can come over here, increase the size. Okay, you can also do this to this. Okay, let me leave it to zero. I can choose to uh, change the contour to see how uh, it will actually look. So you just play around. Okay, I'll leave this on uh, linear to be precise. So you can scale up the opacity, control the strength. You can also increase the size of the of the of the noise or the uh, inner glow to be precise. I think this is okay like this, and you can click the OK button for that. So you can come over here, put your text to OK, and place in your body of text. OK. So for this, you can set this on white as well. You can also increase the size of the text. Okay, that is for that. You can check, come over here on your character panel, adjust the leanings as well. That is the space between the text on the vertical axis as well. So I think this is okay like this. So you can pick it and place it into your the rectangle scale it up as well if you want to if you want to you check you can even align it into the shape okay if i can hold control come over here where i have the shape my mouse pointer changes to this when i hold the control button click like this pick the move tool make sure the move tool is selected so you can align this horizontally and vertically into the shape control d to deselect so you can see this is how this is actually looking like okay so i think this is actually helpful so if you're done you can also reposition this okay you can come over and select this rectangle and select the text layer so hit ctrl t to transform both layers and you can move them to any point okay in your design okay so you can move it to any point you want okay so you can also make adjustment to the blur radius of the image here. So you come over here on the adjustment, you can increase it more. You can adjust it like this as well. You can still do it like this. So you just play around and see what actually works for you guys. 
So that is in terms of that. So ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of this video. So if you do enjoy this video, do it to give the video a like, do it to smash the like button guys. And if you're new to the channel and you would like to see more content like this on my channel, do well to smash the subscribe button guys. Smash the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell to get notification whenever I upload new content on my channel. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for always watching. If you have any comments, any questions, you can leave your questions and comments in the comment section. See you in the next.